Come on, Rabbit. Come on. Come on, dude. It's all right. Come on. Lay down. Hey, everybody. It's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So we are back out at Doc's place, and uh, we are about to hit the ground out here a second time. It is pretty well dry from the sun beating on it all morning. So we're gonna go through, hit it again. That'll release more moisture from the ground, and it also will prep the seed bed to be sown with oats and alfalfa. So just spread the Earthmaster BT out. Rocket's here with me. Rocket, you're running cameraman today. And um, yeah, we're gonna just hit this once, and then I'm probably gonna keep on uh, VTing. Probably head back down to Travis's place and uh, hit that ground that I had had stopped working on that one night, like a week ago, um, where it just got too wet and it didn't go through the VTs very well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just get started. Rocket, come on. Come on, Rocket. Come on, let's go. Rocket, come on. We've done this a hundred times before. I'm doing the outside pass now, and you can see that today it is drying a lot more than it was yesterday. Um, I'm going by what I first started with, and you can definitely tell a difference between um, what I have ha have hit and what I haven't. So, anyway, um, Travis is gonna head out here with the seed drill before long and start seeding this down. I'm gonna head over and start beating what we're gonna be planting into soybeans here, and then hopefully we can get the soybean ground finished up either today or tomorrow, because we really don't have all that much. So Rocket and I are gonna bug out. There goes Travis.
enough of that it's time to head back to the farm and start hitting bean stubble because we're gonna start planting corn here very shortly I noticed there are a couple trees that are hanging a little too far into the field uh, behind me. So I'm gonna park the 82 when I get back to the other side of the farm. And I'm gonna go get the JCB and push back as many trees as I can before we get in there and get something planted. Because we already have something planted here uh, that's already put into soybeans. And there's one tree that's hanging in over that, but the rest of it I can still get to. Um, before we start planting this, I'd really like to go over there and push those trees back because uh, this is the time to do it if we're going to do it. Otherwise, it's going to be like that until the fall. There goes Jamie. She just brought me lunch. Ugh. Lunch. 7 o'clock, 7.30 at night. She just brought me lunch. Sad but true. This may not be one of the recommended uses for these buckets, but uh, after using this MDS bucket for about a month and a half, I've figured out that they can handle just about everything. So I'm gonna push the tree back into the fence line, uh, hopefully get us a little bit more room in there. As you can see, there's still soybeans sanding from last fall. So it's been like this for a while. Extendo Patronum. Travis just finished seeding down this 25 acres of mine. We're taking the truck back home. He's gonna, there's another place he wants to put in a water a waterway at. And then um, he's gonna go back to the farm. We're gonna load him up with beans and he's gonna head it back down to his place and finish his place with beans. And that'll be it for soybeans this year. Well, I just got a call from Travis. Uh, he said that he just broke down. He had like a quarter of an acre to do on another farm. And he said he broke down, <laughs> uh, then he would be done. So I'm, uh, he said he can do it with just a ratchet strap. So I'm gonna grab one and head over there just to patch him up to get him back home. He said that the lift cylinder uh, weld on it broke. So let's take a strap over to him. Okay, leave it. 
we made it back. That's a relief. And that's it for this video. Be sure to tune in to our Plant 19 series on our YouTube channel. I'll keep you guys up to date on how things are going around the farm, how things progress, and uh, whether or not we finish planting in time before the rain starts. So before I let you go, I just wanted to cover one more thing, and that is our photo gallery. About a month ago, I launched our photo gallery, and I've been adding pictures to it all the time. And uh, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, consider becoming a member. You get free 4K wallpapers from that photo gallery. Um, or consider purchasing prints. Um, the print quality on some of these pictures is just pretty superb, uh, which is why I chose them. Um, if you guys didn't know, I was a photographer, or I still guess consider myself a photographer, um, for years before I even started YouTube, and that's how I got into it. So if you guys are interested, just head over to the photo gallery, check it out. You can download pictures such as this one, this one, or this one. And every little bit really helps the channel. So with that, I'll let you all go. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.